Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR, and you are checking out an advice and discussion oriented video. And I haven't done one of these in a while, and you guys like the first few that I did, and so I'm making more, and there's gonna be, they're gonna be more consistent from here on out. But uh, this video is in response actually to a Reddit forum that I came across a while ago, and I thought I would be a pretty good candidate to discuss this. So what we're going to be talking about in this video and what I saw on the Reddit forum where it was uh, the, the original poster was asking, is there good value in going to college, going to university for all the British people out there, uh, going to school to become a music producer, an audio engineer, a DJ, an artist, that sort of thing. And uh, just full disclaimer, I obviously create YouTube videos and tutorial courses and learning tools as well as produce my own music. So a lot of you might be thinking, well, I'm going to be biased about this because I am kind of competing with those colleges in essence. Well, that is partially true, but uh, something I don't talk about pretty much ever is the fact that I did go to school for uh, recording arts and music business for a while. So I feel like I'm actually a good candidate to kind of discuss both sides of this coin because straight up, I'm going to get to the bottom of like the end of this conversation right now. So you don't have to watch the whole video in case you don't want to. The, the, the short story of this is there is no right answer when it comes to is audio school, recording arts programs and studies, are they beneficial? Is it going to help your career or what career you want to choose versus just watching tutorials, watching YouTube videos and learning by doing? It really comes down to the type of person you are. So if I've actually been asked this by a few people, um, by like people who've emailed me or messaged me on Facebook. They're like, well, should I, I'm going to school. Can I interview? Blah, blah, blah. How should I get internships? All that sort of stuff. And in my opinion, there are two different types of people. And I'm, I'm definitely simplifying this for the sake of this video, but there are, let's just say there are two types of people. They're the type of people who do better in a structured environment where people are telling them, this is what you need to learn, when to learn it, and these are the contacts you need to try to be making, get an internship, use the local resources of the college, that sort of stuff. And then there are other people who'd rather do it on their own, do it in their room, learn at their own pace. Now, there's no right one. There's the right one for you as an individual, though. So for me personally, college didn't fit the mold for me. And if you guys care, I'll quickly run down the college I went to and that sort of stuff. So the colleges I'm talking about, some of the really popular ones are like Full Sail, uh, the Art Institutes. There's some local ones here in LA and Hollywood. You think I would know, like the Recording Institute, I think. Um, they have a really stupid uh, Facebook ad where this dude is like, he puts his laptop on top of this huge like Neve SSL mixing board type thing and he's like recording into his laptop and it's just silly and stupid but I digress um see there's a lot of them I actually went to a uh, four-year I'm doing finger gestures with a microphone here um I mean I, I went to a four-year university for I went to University of Colorado at Denver and I think I did that at the time because I was like scared to go to a two-year program a lot of the art institutes and uh, like full sale and all that. That's t they're, they're two year programs, so you get like an associate's degree technically. Um, I wanted to be safe and get that bachelor's degree. But what ended up happening was happening right after high school. I was majoring in law, and then I was like, I want to do this music thing. So I transferred from a school I was going to to University of Colorado at Denver, and I uh, started majoring in the recording arts program. And by year two of that, which would be year like four and a half of my actual college, I thought it was a complete waste of time and a load of crap. And the reason why is because I felt like personally, I was learning more outside of class. And this was a few years ago. So there wasn't as, this was like five, six years ago, actually. So there wasn't as many resources as there are now to learn music production, for sure. But I felt like I was learning more by doing. I was recording all my friends' shitty bands. And I was recording all these singers on campus and like recording recitals and all that stuff. And I felt like I was getting more value by doing as opposed to spending all the money. So... Again, there's no wrong or right answer. If you're younger or you're in high school or you're considering going to a university or an institute to get a degree, you really, I think, need to ask yourself, well, how do you excel? Did you not do well in typical school? Did you kind of like drift and you know do your own thing? Do you feel like you can learn from tutorial courses online, YouTube videos, read, the, read books on your own? Because that's what's going to make your decision for you. And for me personally, I found that I learned a lot more by doing and by failing and by making 
poor music and then going up that totem pole of like, okay, here's my first mix. It's awful. Second one's a little bit better. Third one, you know, and then up that, up that ladder. And that's what I found worked for me. So I actually didn't finish getting the degree in the recording arts. I switched it just to music business slash business because I thought it'd be more beneficial for what I wanted to do. So if you guys are kind of struggling with the idea of do is, is audio school worth it? Should you invest in it? It's a big opportunity cost. It does cost a lot of money. If you can get a good scholarship, if you can get you know good financial support through it, then it might be a really cool resource. So I want to talk about that. I actually have friends from the college. One of them, uh, I haven't asked them if I can name drop them, so I'm not going to, but one of them works at a recording studio in Denver called Side 3 Studios, and they record a lot of big hip-hop artists, and he's one of the assistant engineers. The other one works out here, I believe at Ocean Way. I might have that wrong. But it's a big studio out here, so he's an engineer. I don't know if he's assistant or if he's worked his way up, but they went the college route. I uh, a few a few of my other friends didn't, who are bigger who are bigger DJs or at least touring DJs, or myself with the sound design company and the production, getting TV syncs sync placements and all that. So you can you can have success, and that that's wide ranging levels of success, whichever way you prefer to do it. Just really ask yourself, okay. Do, do I feel like I'm going to learn and do better and put more effort in when I have professors saying, this is what you should be learning right now, and these are the contacts you should be doing, this is the type of music you should be mixing, and then we're going to go on to the next subject, the next next subject. If you feel like you want to get more well-versed in music theory and that sort of stuff, then traditional college or even the arts in, art institutes might be the better choice for you. But if you feel like you can sit in a room and learn by trial and error, read a book, do, do watch tutorial courses, YouTube videos, then that's also a great option. There is no wrong or right option, in my opinion, with this. It is just whatever works best for you, and that's just straight-up soul-searching. So if you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to get a cool discussion going down below. Just leave them below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll try to keep tabs on this for this video for a while. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you guys for checking this video out. I'll see you next time. 